Do you have any recommendations for excavating? Of course, you need to understand what is excavating first. Excavating is one of the six trade skills in Lost Ark. It is arguably the most useful and the most profitable. Excavating stands out as something special. You can dig up relics and materials that you can later use to craft treasure maps to find very valuable rewards. While you're leveling, you will eventually go to Lake Bar Village. Accept the Crown of Lake Bar quest after you've arrived. During the quest, you will get access to the trade skill and its subskills, which include excavating. After that, you need to complete the Dig Deeper quest in the Battlebound Plains of West Luttera. During this quest, which begins at Battlebound Plains, you're tasked with searching for treasure, culminating in excavating a specific area to acquire the treasure. Using the sonar and relic search skills found in the trading skills hotbar, as we carry out our professions, we collect experience points and rise to a level with the corresponding number of experience points. As with our character, we unlock new skills. With these skills, we increase bonuses such as a higher chance of success, the chance of rare materials, and increased gathering speed. In this profession, there will be four phases that you will go through. Level 1, Relic Search. In this phase, you can ping the area in a large radius around you to reveal the location of the buried relic. Level 1, Sonar. In this phase, when you use your first skill, you will see a small circle floating on your head. When you are near the excavation site, the color and sound of your circle will change. When you hit the ground, you will get a passive stack. Level 10, Loot Hunter. In this phase, you will get a passive skill. This increases the chance of a treasure chest appearing when a relic is found. Level 20, Excavation. In this phase, you will get a passive skill. Once you reach the max stack of 5, the next dig will spawn a minigame. This minigame is the most important part of archaeology because you will get a lot of material from it. Level 30, Sniffer Dog. Summons a Bloodhound which increases the chance of falling rare materials for 180 seconds. This trade skill is different from the others because this trade skill provides bonus features such as mini-games. The excavating mini-game will be triggered when the buff from excavating reaches 5 stacks, and the buff will increase when excavating. In the mini-game, your goal is to hit the blue part of the meter with an orange arrow. You will have 15 seconds to press the blue part 3 times. If you win the minigame, you'll get more relics and ways to sharpen them, like Moonslash Star Breath or Leapstones. In minigames, you do not need to press the spacebar on the first throw of the dart. You will have 15 seconds to press the spacebar three times. If you make a mistake while trying the minigame, you can press escape to exit the minigame. As long as you still have five stacks of excavating buffs, you can wait for the relic to disappear, then dig back in the same place to re-trigger the minigame. Now for the best place for excavating. There are different best places in the Lost Ark. You can come to this place according to the tier of the material you want. 4 Tier 1 Materials Barren Path and Athetine will be the best place for you. For Tier 2 Materials, Azure Wind Island will be the best place for you. For Tier 3 Materials, Secret Forest in Punica will be the best place for you. Thank you for your recommendation, that's very helpful. You're welcome, please like this video so you can come back again later if you forget what you need to do. Also, you can comment below with what you want to know. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our channel for more informative content about MMOs.